on there people of the intertube it's nell yeah hope y'all doing well today I'm, i thought i might try just to do a face camera deal yeah i don't know just to switch things up i guess yeah so here we go it's just gonna be a general reading for you guys you do please leave a like and comments that will be very much appreciated and uh yeah yeah already plugged the energy in for I plug the energy in for the people that actually watch this reading. Yeah, love. Mm hmm. It's gonna go down in love for those that watch this, that are watching this reading. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, I kinda got tired. I, I kinda get, well, my, my true heart, what I wanna do, what I wanna do. Not what you want to see, but what I want to do is guidance. That's the most important thing. Yeah, because we steer our future, right? Now, can I be done with terror looking at future? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Is it beneficial to do that? Yeah, if you actually take lessons from the reading, then yeah. Then I would say it's it's useful, but is everybody gonna do that? <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the question, right? Well, anyway, no big deal. I'm gonna flip the cards. Yeah, already pre shuffled these cards pretty massively. Yeah, the world's cards. Two of Wands. Can you see that? There you go. That's better. Ooh, the Chariot. I don't know how am I looking, but damn. I kind of got the setup. I kind of can see. Yeah, I look like, like, yeah, not, <laughs> not the greatest. Who cares? That was a success, success card. Yeah. We got the King of Cups. Mm, okay. Queen of Swords. The Judgment. Woo! Three Wands. Six cups. Death. Bottom of the deck. <clears throat> I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Okay. Yeah. Bottom of the deck. We got seven of coins. Okay. I feel we should start with that. Yes. Seven of Pentacles in a love reading. I feel that is investing in a new connection. Now, does this have to be romantic love? I believe that most of you understand that it is exactly meaning that. But there is a higher form of love, just saying. There is uh, friendships and our family and all that. But the biggest, uh, what I feel, and it's even greater than romantic love, is care. Yeah. Without care, this world is going to die. And what you're going to have then, it's just romantic love. It would not exist. Just just saying, yeah. I feel this has everything to do with um, sowing seeds for the future, right? So making new connections, small connections. It doesn't have to be romantic love. It could be just love, caring for your neighbors, family members, your fellow human being, things like that, establishing connections here, yeah, and judging by the reading here, um, yeah, it seems like um, the overall here is out with the old and in with the new, yeah, so, first card out, we have the world card, right, the world all about, yeah, Doors closing and other ones opening. 
Yeah. Um, what I sense with this in this reading, it's a lot like uh, something fails, and because of that thing failing, something else will succeed. That just came to mind. And that's actually what it's all about. And we have another card here that's speaking of that as well. So, yeah, <clears throat> it's definitely uh, that notion yeah, of doors closing and others opening new opportunities because of uh, that door that closes. Now, this could be a breakup. This could be a fallout with a family member. Um, you name it. All right. Something like that. Mm -hmm. So cycles endings and therefore a new cycle will begin. Yeah. It's going to be up to you to make that choice. Yeah. If you will take the new cycle. Mm -hmm. It may also indicate that you um, maybe you have to close the cycle and choose the other cycle. That could be too. What I mean, if you're in a toxic relationship, could be this could indicate that you have to close out the toxic relationship, just an example, and opening up another one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next one. Next one. <clears throat> it feels like you may actually going to do this. Yeah. At least some of you, right, for the ones who watch. That's what the, the energy that I plugged in for the one, ones that watch this. Because we got chariots. Chariots using willpower to achieve what you want to achieve, right? Driving will. So there's a lot of will here. Seems like you're going to be choosing. I'm not sure what you're going to choose with this. But I got a feeling you're going to be following your gut instinct. Definitely. Looking at all this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to make that choice. And you, whatever you're going to choose, you're going to go for it. Because that's really driving willpower to achieve your goals, right? It's all about balance, energies, driving the sphinxes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Controlling the self, really. Having self-control. And after the chariot, we have the six of wands, which is very much being successful in what you do. Yeah, yeah, all about success. Victorious. Mm -hmm. Like I said, um, yeah, it seems like it feels like it's not going to be like, this door closes, that one open. Or, doo -doo. It's not going to be a rapid succession. It feels like closing a door. And there's going to be a period in there where you need to um, become yourself again. For uh, lack of a better word, right? Become self-sufficient or something, mentally, emotionally, physically. Things like that, and then you will um, move forward. Yeah, you're gonna be successful in some manner here, and I feel it might be closing down a chapter because it's talking about it. So we got driving the willpower. It seems like you're gonna be very successful in being um, doing that, driving your will. Because you're going to be go doing some news. Yeah, giving somebody some news. This is deep communication about your emotions, right? Like I said before, if this is if this is a toxic relationship, which it could be. Now, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be romantic life either. Something doesn't work out and yeah, yada, yada, yada. Uh, yeah. It seems like you're going to be communicating hard. Laying your heart out and really explaining to another soul how you really feel. And yeah, I don't think that this is going to be like for a new connection necessarily. I feel this is this has everything to do with the current connection. 
it's kind of like uh, I told my wife this too. Um, you gotta, at some moments in your life, you gotta have laser focus. It's kind of like a horse having the blinds on. They can only see forward. Usually that's not a good thing. But in this situation, it seems like um, this might be the best case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First things first, close out this chapter, whatever it is for you. All right. If you want to close it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot more I want to say on that, but I will not because people may get offended and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to leave with that, but you're going to have to be brave. All right. Nice cut out. And that is, um, sort of a clarifier of the world here. Big cycles ending, new beginning. Queen of Swords, yeah, cutting out what does no not longer serve you anymore, right? So that is really looking at the truth, at the truth, the truth of the matter. <laughs> oh man, I cannot speak. I've been working all day. Um, really looking at what happens in the past. Of what actually was within a relationship, whatever, whatever doesn't have to be romantic. Got to repeat that, but it, just saying, what really occurred, and then it seems like you're gonna be letting go of it. You're gonna be explaining to this individual or multiple people how it really is. Yeah. Okay. And has everything to do with the chariot, using willpower, being brave, being victorious, being communicative. I know that's not a feminine trait, and I know uh, most people watching this are women. But um, this is going to be, you're going to have to do this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Or this may be for another individual that may be doing this to you. That could be too, but I don't feel that because it's for you. This reading is for you. All right. So, yeah. The truth is going to be spoken. All right. Keep it in mind. The next one. We had the two of wands here, right? Making a choice. Left brain, right brain. Left path. Right path. Red pill, blue pill. Underneath that, we have the judgments. Yeah. You know you're going to have to make a choice. You have this deep-seated feeling inside of you that you're going to have to do this. I don't know what it is. You will know what it is, but you, you've got to know that you're going to have to do it. Because this is really... Um, well, it's going to feel like a higher force taking you over, right? This your emotions running over. Uh, could also be mental energies, maybe even psychic messages. I don't really know, but it's definitely an indication that um, you're going to be forced to make a choice. Not by anybody else, by yourself. Because I would think that if you are watching Tarot, I would think that you are kind of awake okay so yeah all right you're gonna be led by a higher force here or it's gonna come across that way all right that's pretty pretty deep the judgments yeah yeah look at look, yeah google the symbology really of what it truly means originally yeah you'll see <laughs> you'll see next cut out after all that, right? It seems like you're going to be waiting, waiting. And I feel as everything to do, sowing the seeds, right? Could also, like I said, could it be new connections, but it's going to it's gonna come later in this reading. But uh, this is waiting. This could be waiting for an answer, waiting on success. Yeah. 
something like that. Yeah. So it seems like you're going to be pouring in a lot of mental and emotional energy into one individual. Like, again, it doesn't have to be romantic, but something like I'm going to tell them the truth because I really feel I have to and you're going to do it. And then it's silence. And you're going to be waiting, waiting on your butt, waiting for the ships to come in, right? Waiting on some sort of answer, perhaps. Yeah. Pretty cool. Next one, we had a victory. Right. Underneath that, when the cards are underneath, for me, that is kind of, had a, has a lot to do with it. All right. Well, every, all these cards are connected, but definitely the ones underneath. We have six of wands above and six of cups below. Success with somebody from the past. Doesn't have to be romantic, somebody that you know. Um, this might indicate uh, also this King of Cups communication. This might actually uh, indicate that asking for advice other people that may be um, a good thing to do as well if you're struggling with wanting to let go of somebody or something right it's a love reading so yeah but it's definitely connecting with somebody that you already know could be brother sister family some somebody but definitely somebody from the past, somebody very familiar to you. Um, this is also next to the three of wands, which is waiting, right? So it might be that you're going to have to or want to. might be beneficial for you to spend some time with those people. Somebody that you're familiar with. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And or advice. Yeah. And the last card, we got the death card. Yeah. Yeah. Total transformation. Yeah. So, yeah. Everything I told just told you. Um, like, you're going to be waiting on some news or an answer or something like that. And that is totally going to be a 180 in um, the relationship with this individual could be good or bad i'm not sure if it was already bad it might be better uh if it was already bad maybe it's totally nothing or even worse yeah i gotta pull another card for that but death guard definitely represents um and it's underneath the king of cups here communication that communication is gonna totally Turn everything upside down. All right. And I feel it's for the better. It's for the better. Yeah. Maybe it's like, maybe you're in like a short term relationship, uh, no, no strings attached, and you communicate this because you feel that they're the one or something like that. And they may go like, ooh, yeah. I love you too. Let's get married. It's that kind of energy. Not saying that that's going to happen, but that's kind of the energy that I get from this spread as well. Yeah. Some words that really need to be spoken and that requires a lot of courage. But you know, deep down inside, that you're going to have to explain this to this individual. Did you catch all that? <laughs> And the communication is going to flip everything around. I'm going to pull one more card for the death card. Yeah. To see if it's positive or negative. It's going to be positive or negative. Hmm. I got a sense that it might be negative. Yeah. Because that card is definitely speaking of... Take no prisoners. Yeah. Uh, defeat by unfair advantage. My, it might be that you're going to be defeated. I don't think so. 
looking at the spread, it seems like you're going to be really rocking it for sure. I feel the other individual is not going to like the news. And they're going to be defeated or feeling that way. Yeah. So it seems like you're going to be going to have you're going to have some uncomfortable news. Yeah. For this person. I don't know who this reading is for. I don't really know. But um, there you go. There's your reading. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed watching my face again. It's been a while. Yeah. It takes a lot more to do readings with my face there. Yeah. I don't even know if my face looks any good these days. Who cares? But, um, it's more difficult to do it that way. Anyway, do hit the like and sub. That would be very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of this reading. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty hardcore. Whatever you do, take one thing from this reading. Follow your gut, okay? Not so much your emotions. Those are, those are good guys too, but there's something else there. The judgment card, that's definitely, yeah. You got to consider everything, okay? And consider the future, foresee the future. If this is a, a toxic relationship or if you feel like this is not the one, and it, you, your intuition has been going hard for a long time about that yeah it might be time to revisit this reading and do exactly that all right anyway gonna leave you with that y'all have a good one all right bye bye I'll turn this this one off bye bye